So what I'm saying is we need to look at different ways. I gave the example one of them is embrace it the second one is this blanket amnesty and it's a radical move but what it would ensure is that we're at zero in terms of accepting uh, corruption or uh, being a corrupt country we're at zero we reset the clock and we give disagree a blank, with you on that we give no do you disagree i don't know you're yet to tell me <laughs> i'm trying to tell you what the benefits are and how it would work but there would be a renewed optimism to fight corruption and we evinced this this was evinced rather in uh, kibaki's time when kibaki first came in you saw society take part you saw the populace be part of the fight against corruption where they were arresting bribe cops themselves we need to get back to that whereby society takes charge. People are calling in and saying but we the citizen, we have a part to play. How do you change that? I'm giving a solution. One of them, it's psychologically based where you look at the whole country and you say, you know what, as of today there is no case in corruption. We've cancelled all that. Let's forget looking for justice. Let's forget bringing these people to book. Everybody is at zero. And you would actually see you know, money coming back into the country because uh, those have put money aside. done anywhere? I haven't seen it done anywhere. Mm. We could be the first or we could look at countries. I haven't looked into it in enough detail, but it's a suggestion. And these are the conversations we need to be having as opposed to constantly saying we need to hold them accountable, ATC, constantly. What do we actually do? How do we go about that? Careful Let's look Jerry, at the solutions. Suggesting, you know, you seem to be saying that it's only the suggestions you make that ought to be discussed. In no, detail. no. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> we have been talking about a leader who is reform-minded, right? Whatever they do, and if that leader comes and, and, that, and that leader is Jerry and Jerry comes with those two suggestions, then that is a leader who's reform-minded. Mm. And there's nothing wrong about that. So put down, seek a, a position of leadership. And I will. And let's elect you. And I then will. you come in and you're resolute about it. And Absolutely. don't waver. And, and I'll be a The problem dictator. we've been having with our leaders <laughs> is that they waver. And then they start telling us, oh, you know, I don't have sufficient power. Oh, you don't have a, I don't have sufficient goodwill. Oh, the system is not working. So I had to, you know, work with the system. This is a problem that we've been having in this country.